Miley recently revealed on Andy Cohen's Sirius XM radio show that not only does her momager, Tish, smoke a lot of marijuana, but that Tish is thinking about working full-time on her husband's Billy Ray's weed farm. I didn't nice. even know he had a weed farm. Well, you know, felt. and not only did Billy Ray share a Valentine's Day photo of Tish holding a weed bouquet, there you go. <laughs> Billy also posted a picture of Tish next to a vault full of marijuana with the quote, how, my, how times are changing, hashtag crazy mama. Well, Billy's high humor did not go over well with everyone who noticed a double standard like journalist Soledad O'Brien who tweeted, Think of all the people incarcerated right now on weed charges, and you wonder why so many people understand that criminal justice is often neither fair nor just. Back. So, ladies, do you agree that something smells a little funny when it comes to Billy's post? Okay, oh, I yeah. completely agree with Soledad O'Brien, but I don't think it's Billy Ray's fault or Tisha's fault. Oh, no, you know what I mean? Like, not. I don't think no. it's right to attack her because of some terrible laws that we have that make no sense today in 2019, those things need to be changed. They need to recognize that now that it's legal in a lot of states, they need to change and go back and find these people, get them out of jail. They don't belong there. So I do agree with that. Do I think that, it, that again, that Miley's mom should be attacked for this? No, because she wasn't doing anything illegal. No, 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 Miley's mom absolutely shouldn't be attacked, and neither should anybody else who, you know, promotes their weed-smoking habits or whatever and, not gets, and gets away with it. As long as it's legal in your state. Sure, of course. <laughs> How <laughs> I, I don't want them sure, to sure, end up no, in jail. For sure, for sure. But I think that this is a perfect opportunity for everybody, especially white people, to understand white privilege. Yeah. This is that example. And, <laughs> and the thing is, it is, our justice system is irresponsible. You have, black people are actually, um, they are four times more likely than a white person to get arrested for marijuana possession. That is jacked up. Black people make up 12.7% of America's population, yet make up 40% of the prison populace. See so what just... happened when you date a black rapper? You get black facts. Yeah. That's you got all the facts. My, God. God. my only thing I think that's great. Oh. I, I think that is. Some Let them know, Jimmy. Let them know. These facts. Let Yo, them know. just so you know, that. I partake in a choke choke myself. I own my own dispensary, <laughs> so I don't need anybody else's help. <laughs> just so you know. Okay, but this you is my question. You didn't know the facts until you started just so you know. <laughs> Though, that said, my point is, it is jacked up, and I just think that we have people who are in federal prison yeah. for marijuana possession Crazy. next to serial killers and pedophiles. So it's Crazy. there's an imbalance there. People need to speak up. Laws need to be changed. Everything. Oh, needs I don't to think it's just okay. black.